Hello YouTube. Uh, this morning, I just wanted to do a quick video, and I just wanted to uh, to say, let's look for Jesus in our life. Let's be seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, <clears throat> in Ephesians three sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, it talks about being rooted down in the love of Christ, getting rooted down and knowing Him intimately. Uh, many times in our life, when we have an emptiness in our heart, we reach out to people and, and more people and more people. And at the same time, with all these people in our life, we can still be lonely because we're still needing Jesus. We still haven't really gotten to the root of the issue, which is we need Jesus in our life. We need, we need the Word of God, the living, breathing Word of God as a, uh, as a uh, Hebrews 4.12 tells us the Word of God is living and alive and breathing. We need that breathing, living Word of God in our heart. And that's the only thing that's going to fill our loneliness and our gap in our life. You know, uh, when we reach out to the crowd uh, and we get more people's advice, that's, you know, when Ephesians talks about being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine, well, that's when that happens. And discouragement comes along with that. You know, when you're getting... Mixed messages, mixed signals, discouragement hits you. And then you're in the devil's playing field because that's where he wants you. And just like the scripture says that the Satan is like a sheep, he is a wolf in sheep's clothing. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And you're going to find the wolves in the crowd. And you're not going to find the wolves up in the mountain. You know, Jesus after the crowd, he would go into the mountain and pray to get away from, you know, the hoopla, you know, the, the, the hype. You know, he would go into the mountain and pray because there was a lot of hype in the crowd. You know, every, in the crowd, you'll notice everybody's a Christian. Everybody believes in God, and everybody's your friend, and everybody's got your back. But we know, in reality, that's not so. And Jesus went up into the mountain and prayed, you know. Moses, he was up in the mountain and prayed. What were they doing at the bottom of the mountain? in the crowd, at the bottom of the mountain. They were worshiping idols. You know, a bunch of idolaters down there. They were, they were just, they, they had abandoned the Lord while Moses was in the, in the mountain praying. So what I'm saying about the crowd is, you know, and let me make one more point. You, you know, Jesus had a huge following. You know, many saw the miracles that he did. So the ones who were present that day when Pilate says, you know, who are we going to crucify, this murderer or, or this man who calls himself the, the king of the Jews. Now, many in that crowd, they saw the miracles. Overwhelmingly, many of them saw the miracles that Jesus did. But yet the crowd turned on Jesus and said, crucify him. The same very crowd that saw him do the miracles and knew that he was the real deal. They turned on him. So this is what I'm saying this morning. This real short video is, Let's make sure we stay rooted in the Word of God and focus on the Word of God and not worry about connecting, as, as we call it these days, with other folks and stay more focused on connecting with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then the Lord will send the laborers across our path, the people in our life that need to be in our life. So that's just a, a short, sweet message I wanted to share with you this morning. And if you have any prayer requests, uh, please leave it in the comment section. And uh, until next time, God bless you guys. I love you, and uh, have a good day.